Afikena Sareya. Yes. Afikena Sareya. <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here with you. And I'm really curious to know about your preparation for this movie. Uh, one of the coolest moments, which is Ariel discovering the above world. You're completely silent. And most of the movie, you're like interacting with a lot of nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I really want to know, how's the preparation for that? Yes, wow. Well, first of all, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, the preparation process was really cool for me. It was mm -hmm. so different because I come from a performance world, I'm a singer, mm -hmm. so this, I've never done anything like this before. And I went into it very excited, very nervous, but found that I did have to do a lot of preparation to prepare myself um, for this role. I think that when I lost my voice in the film, I had to learn how to play every emotion, every expression on my face without mm -hmm. saying a word. And, you know, Rob Marshall, the director, actually had this beautiful reference for me called, um, it was this movie, Yintel, that Barbara Streisand, it was her mm -hmm. directorial debut. And she had this beautiful, these beautiful moments in her head where a song would play and it would be like this internal monologue. So I really studied that film as well as building a relationship with Scuttle, Sebastian and Flounder first in rehearsals so that by the time they left and I would only hear their voices in my ear and be talking to the air, I would feel like they were there with me and that I had some sort of support. So it was mm -hmm. definitely interesting and different, <laughs> but good. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. And you're a wonderful singer. That's Thank undeniable. <laughs> and I mean, me and so many other people have seen you from the beginning on YouTube and you. the, how much you grow, like your voice. Um, but I want to know, what did The Little Mermaid push you? Like, how did yes. the project push you as a singer? And how was it reimagining all these classic songs? Yes, wow. Well, I truly feel this project pushed me in so many different ways, mm -hmm. especially the songs. I mean, we've all known and loved the songs since we were little, and we'd sing them in our bathroom in our shower but I never thought I'd actually get to re-sing it for everyone mm -hmm. so I think that as a singer I had to become emotionally prepared as mm -hmm. well because the work Jodi Benson did was absolutely stunning she is a living legend and I really felt so confident with the blueprint I already had from her mm -hmm. but I was really grateful to Rob Marshall and John DeLuca for allowing me to have freedom when it came to recreating these songs mm -hmm. you know allowing me to add some nuances and riffs and not try to be a replica of the original um, was something that I really put a lot of thought into. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was really grateful that I got to do it my way. Oh, that's so amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited right now. I'm like, wow, I'm a singer as well. And I'm like, oh, she's such an inspiration. <laughs> uh, one more thing that I was um, really curious about. Yes. I was part of a project where everyone was from a different country. Yes. And that's just like... Ariel's sisters. Yes. All of them are from different backgrounds, which I thought was such a beautiful way to celebrate yeah. um, diversity. Mm -hmm. What did you learn from them? Oh, wow. I learned so much from them. Well, number one, it was so cool just having mermaid sisters on set. And the <laughs> fact that they all were from different places was so beautiful. I thought that was an amazing thing, an amazing concept from Rob to do, have each sister represent one of the seven seas. Mm -hmm. And it was so cool. And I think building that relationship with them was something that was really special, as well as just embracing the beauty that all of us were. I mean, it's such a beautiful thing when and you can see these diverse people come together and mm -hmm. you know show that we are all beautiful and when we're together it's so cool to see so i was just like in awe of them they're so beautiful oh that's so awesome and this has been a crazy journey for you and not just on set i mean i heard so much about your preparation and how much work you put on it but you also went through a lot outside of the screen and yes. in the real world um people were really tough on you um but as a whole, as a project, I really want to know what's the takeaway? What, what are you going to take from Ariel and from Hallie, the Hallie that faced all of these yes. things outside wow. of the world? Yeah, that's such a good question. I truly feel that Ariel has taught me so much about who mm -hmm. Hallie is because I auditioned for this role when I was 18. Mm -hmm. I'm 23 now. And we wrapped filming when I was like 21. So these are like wow. really transformative years where you're still finding yourself. I still feel like I'm finding myself every single day, but I feel like Ariel brought me closer to myself. And I think with 
watching her go after her dreams and her passions and fight for what her heart wants um, was really inspiring to me and, and made me want to go after what I want in life. And um, I was, I'm way less timid now. Like when I first started, I was so shy, so scared, so timid. <laughs> My sister had to be like, snap out of it, get out of your <laughs> shell, you can do it. And I remember I was so different on the rap day where I felt so much more sure of myself, so confident, and felt like I could go after my dreams and speak up for myself. So I truly felt that she taught me so much. Beautiful. And lastly, I just wanted you to leave a message to all of your Brazilian fans. Yes. Those are passionate people. They love <laughs> you so much. And also, I want to teach you how to say La Sirenita in Portuguese. Yeah, yes. that'd be so cool. Okay, you say A Pequena Sereia. A Pequena Sereia. A Pequena Sereia. Sareya. Yes. A pequena sareya. Yes. A pequena sareya. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now feel free to leave a message and okay. that's all. Hi, Brazil. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you go see The Little Mermaid. And thank you so much for this lovely interview. This has been amazing. Thank you. <laughs> You're a mermaid. That doesn't make us enemies. Hello, Javier. Hello. First of all, an honor to be here. Um, you've had so many amazing roles in the past, and most of them are really intense, like No Country mm -hmm. for Old Men and very like intense yeah. movies. And this movie is a very different approach to intensity. You're still like yes. a sea king. Yes. But then there's this really soft side to try <laughs> and he's like a very emotional dad. What was the challenge of balancing that and what did you bring to this kind of movie? Well, the, the challenge, but also the, the goal was for Rob and John, the directors, and I to find, along with the screenwriters, of course, to find the human fish <laughs> aspect <laughs> within him that we as parents can relate to. Mm -hmm. And that would be the fear, the fear of losing the person that we love the most, or daughter in this case, mm -hmm. and how that fear can be translated into rage sometimes, or into, yeah, into grumpy daddy. <laughs> but at the end of the, at the bottom of it, there is a love that's, uh, un, I mean, uh, beyond words, and also a resistance to understand that true love means let the other person become who she wants. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than being the person that you expect her to be. And did you have any big takeaways from Triton? I know you have two beautiful kids yes. and a family. I mean, when you play a character like this, of course, there's, a, there's something that you bring with you home. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess it helps you slightly to open your mind a little bit more about, okay, so this is what it is, okay. So, yeah, it, it makes you good as an actor to, mm -hmm. to do a character like this as a father. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and I know that you had to wear these like very heavy tails and <laughs> swim a lot. Yeah. Um, what was the physical and mental prep for all that? It was pretty physical because uh, we had these uh, ring uh, um, cranes that we have to mm -hmm. attach to that will be different depending if it's uh, horizontal or vertical or diagonal. Wow. All of them were moved by five to six people and most of the time you are holding it with your core oh. you have to be able to yeah to be strong in the core a lot of abs yeah <laughs> so we have to do lots of abs and also the arm thing because you see the arms so <laughs> I, was, I was doing a lot of uh, which is boring as hell. Hitting the gym, hitting the gym for Triton. <laughs> um, I'm from Brazil and you have a huge fan base there. Everyone's so excited. And in the premiere, you even mentioned uh, Brazilian fans and you talk yes. about their passion. Yes. Um, so first, I wanted to ask you to leave a message to them. And then okay. I want to teach you a little something in Portuguese, if you okay. already know something. Of course. Hola, Brazil. <laughs> Eu gosto muito do Brasil. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna teach you how to teach you how to say La Sirenita in Portuguese. Como es? It's a pequena sereia. A pequena sereia. A pequena sereia. A pequena sereia. You. That's perfect. You speak Spanish. It's super <laughs> close. Um, and lastly, you worked with, with people from so many backgrounds. Yeah. All the sisters were from were from everywhere. Yes. What did you learn from them? 
Well, I learned something that we have to learn every day, mm -hmm. which is we belong to a world where we are so different from each other, but also we are united by the thing that hurt us and make us happy. And we have to surrender to the fact that we are different and not be scared of it, but embrace it. And, 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 and that's what the movie speaks about as well. Wow, amazing. It was a pleasure talking to thank you. you. You're such an icon and I'm so honored. <laughs> and you. yes, thank you. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. <laughs> for, for selfies allowed? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Really?